Here are some affirmations for people pleasers. I live for me. I build meaningful and authentic relationships. My happiness comes from within. Hey, my name is Sarah V. Welcome back to the channel. And today I wanted to give you five signs to know that you are a people pleaser. It took a little bit for me to say that. People pleaser. Okay. As I was thinking about the topic for this video, I was reminded of this quote I saw online and it's really old. You might know it already, um, but it says, don't set yourself on fire to keep other people warm. Um, and that's exactly what I feel like it is or what happens when you're a people pleaser. You want to make sure other people are happy. You put their priorities above yourself. Um, and oftentimes you end up feeling like resentment. You start feeling like you have betrayed yourself. Um, you're stressed. It gives you a feeling of being less than because you're putting someone else above yourself. So we're going to go over some signs of how do you know whether you're a people pleaser and also ways for you to uh, change that. So the first one is you never have any me time. You never have any alone time, any time for yourself. That one is easy to fix. All you have to do is start scheduling time for yourself. You have to start saying, th saying no to the things that don't serve you um, and putting time aside for your own needs and your own priorities. Um, okay, the second one is you do not share your feelings. So often when you're a people pleaser, you're taking other people's feelings into consideration. So you kind of keep yours on the back burner because you don't want to like have conflict or you don't want someone to feel any type of way. Um, and that's not good for you because it's like all this pent up frustration, all this pent up energy. Um, so the first thing that you have to do is understand that your thoughts and your opinions matter. Um, I like to say things to myself that kind of rewire my my mind. Like if I'm keeping this to myself or I'm keeping what I or my opinion to myself, how much of a friend am I actually being to that person? Something that you say can or something that let me say this way, something that I can I say, <laughs> something that I say can help them in their situation. You know, so my opinions are valid um and what I say matters. Even if it's the littlest comment or the littlest thing, it matters and it could change someone's life. Okay, so another one is that you are constantly apologizing. I remember I like I feel like I still do this too. Like I'll just be like, oh sorry, sorry. Um and you have to kind of like tell yourself like hey you have to be unapologetic and stop yourself when you start to be like oh I'm sorry or recognize when you're saying, you know, when you're apologizing, like I rem I realize that I would often I'll often do this like when I'm walking, say someone cuts in front of me, I'll be like, oh my bad, or I'm sorry. Um, and no, like you have to be unapologetic. There's no reason for you to be apologizing to someone when they're the ones who cut you off. Like it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. So stop apologizing. Be unapologetic. That's a that's a way that you can combat that sign of being a people pleaser if you apologize all the time for random stuff things that don't even need apologies for then just recognize when you're uh, that you're doing that in the first place and then stop yourself from saying you know i'm sorry try to replace it with a different word i don't have a word to give you right now but think about some other words that you can use instead of saying i'm sorry or my fault or my bad or whatever Another sign that you're a people pleaser is that you always agree with everything. You want to go with the flow. Like, no, you do not always have to go with the flow. You have to consider your own priorities as well. Um, there are things that you have to do specific and unique to your own life. So you have to let that be known and and consider your, your own priorities. If you're spending time with someone else, it's definitely taking time from the things that you have to do for yourself. Other people can wait or they can figure it out themselves. They'll be just fine. At the end of the day, what other people think about you really don't matter. What matters is what you think about yourself, how you feel about yourself. Um, and the only way to really get down to that, get down to the, the root of that is to work on yourself. Work on yourself and get to know yourself better, increase your self-esteem. Um, and I have a video, I'll link it up top to, um, in the cards so that you can 
see how to like boost your mental toughness. Um, but yeah, work on yourself, get to know yourself um, and get comfortable being uncomfortable. If you want to stop people pleasing and you want to stop worrying about what other people think about you, get really comfortable with being uncomfortable because you're going to have to sit in discomfort um, in order for you to, you know, soak, just, just develop tough skin, I would say. You have to really sit in discomfort because it, it gets very uncomfortable, like knowing that um, people, someone feels a certain type of way about you and there's nothing that you can really do about it. But it's the best thing for you to develop that tough skin because the whole world is full of people who really don't care for you <laughs> at times. Um, and it's also filled with a lot of people who care for you, who love you. Um, and you should be focused on that. Focus on people who love you and you should be focused on loving yourself. That's the only way that you're going to stop people pleasing and start honoring yourself. I remember when I figured out like I was a people pleaser, I didn't realize like I was doing all these things. So I'm pretty sure there's some people out there that you have certain traits and you just think like, oh, I'm a really nice person. Like I'm not people pleasing. I'm just really nice. I consider other people's feelings. This is just how I was raised. But there's a certain aspect of that, especially when you're denying yourself so that other people can be happy. Um, that is called people pleasing. <laughs> so go ahead and leave a comment down below if you realize like, yo, I'm a people pleaser. Um, and let me know what you guys think of the video and if the ways to combat, you know, the signs that I listed are helpful. Um, yeah, so that's all I have for you today. So I'll see you in the next one.